to share with you one of my favorite stories. And I like to read it at the beginning of the year. I like to read it in the middle of the year. I like to read it at the end of the year. Really, I like to read this book all the time. It's funny. Anyway, this is called We Don't Eat Our Classmates, and it is by Ryan T. Higgins. And I'm very excited to order his new book. I can't remember what it's called, but there's a follow-up to this. So this is the story about Penelope, a little T-Rex, and she's going to school for the first time. So maybe you'll find some text-to-self connections as you listen to this story. I hope you like it as much as I do. Enjoy. We don't eat our classmates. Hey kids, you will never be eaten by a T-Rex. They are extinct. I promise. Do you think that's true? Let's find out. Penelope Rex was nervous. It's not every day a little T-Rex starts school. Oh, can you make that face? Nice. What are my classmates going to be like? Will they be nice? How many teeth will they have? This was very important. Hmm. I like how our stuffies all look like they're thinking. Penelope's mom brought her a new bought her a new backpack with ponies on it. Ponies were Penelope's favorite because ponies are delicious. Penelope's dad packed her a lunch of 300 tuna sandwiches. Thumbs up if you like tuna sandwiches. Can you eat 300? Me neither. And one apple juice. Finally, the big day came. And Penelope Rex was very surprised to find out that all of her classmates were... Make a prediction. Because good readers make predictions. What is it going to say? Let's find out. Children! Shouty caps, so you have to read it loud with an exclamation. So she ate them. Because children are delicious. This is my favorite part. Penelope Rex, said Mrs. Noodleman. We don't eat our classmates. Please spit them out at once. So she did. <laughs> it was not the best way to start school. Still, Penelope Rex was determined to have a good first day. Look at those expressions on those children. She tried hard to make friends at recess. She finger painted some of her best work. Go ahead and look. What did she draw? Yeah, she's eating the children. Because remember, children are delicious. She even saved Griffin Emery a seat at lunch. You can sit here. Look where she's pointing. Penelope started to notice everyone was making friends but her. Oh, she looks so sad. Can you make a sad face? It was lonely. Poor Penelope. It is hard when you eat your classmates. When she got home, her dad asked her about her first day of school. I didn't make any friends, Penelope cried. None of the children wanted to play with me. Penelope Rex, her father asked. Did you eat your classmates? Well, maybe sort of just a little bit. Sometimes it's hard to make friends, said her dad, especially if you eat them. You see, Penelope, children are the same as us on the inside, just tastier. That gave Penelope a lot to think about. Look, there are ponies in her backpack. The next day, Penelope tried really hard. But poor Penelope, she could not help herself from eating her classmates. There's the shoe. 
Look, she's trying so hard here. Mrs. Noodleman, Penelope ate William Amoto again. And they were all afraid of her. I think this is William Amoto. He's covered in goo. Oh, do you think she feels bad? Yeah, I do too. Except Walter. Walter was a goldfish. So Penelope tried to make friends with him. Will you be my friend? I said it like that because you is in shouty caps. Hmm, what do you think is going to happen? Good readers make good predictions. Chomp! cried Penelope. He's eating my finger. What? I just read it loud. Once Penelope found out what it was like to be someone's snack, she lost her appetite for children. She stopped eating her classmates. Even when Cece Woodman spilled barbecue sauce all over herself. Oh, I bet that was really hard. I bet she smelled tasty. And soon Penelope made friends. Found you. Do you think she's any good at hide and seek? Want a brownie? I helped make them. Ooh. Raise your hand if you like brownies. Now, even when the children look especially delicious, she peeks at Walter and remembers what it's like when someone tries to eat you. Oh, it's a good reminder. Look at that face. And Walter, the goldfish, stares right back at her and licks his lips. Can you guys lick your lips? <laughs> because dinosaurs are delicious. Friends, I hope you enjoyed today's story, We Don't Eat Our Classmates. It's one of my personal favorites.